What's going on guys? It's the Lost Ranger here and today or actually yesterday we got some exciting news Well, we actually knew a few days ago, but we got finally the some more guns for advanced war warfare 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 coming out on the Xbox one I'm pretty sure it came on the ps4 as well, but we got the AK-47, the M16, and the Cauterizer, and I'm going to go through some some few things on the, each gun, go over a few things on that, and also some more royalty guns were added to the list as well. So first we're going to start off and kick it off here with the AK-47, which is a fully automatic assault rifle. High recoil, 30 round magazine, uh, you're going to want to burst fire this weapon. Because it has some kick to her. You want to burst fire it as well as not just holding down the trigger. Because that will be giving you some high recoil and it will be harder to stay on your target. Which kind of sucks, but the AK-47 is a huge fan favorite from all of the Call of Duties. It's been a solid gun throughout. It's been in Black Ops 2. Uh, nope, not Black Ops 2, I'm kidding. I was, <laughs> I was just checking. Black Ops 1, I was thinking Black Ops 2, but Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. It's been in quite a few Call of Duties, and now they're returning it to Advanced Warfare, which I'm excited about. It looks awesome, it, uh, always fun to play with, which it sounds like it's going to be pretty good. Unfortunately, I haven't got any gameplay with any of these weapons, because I haven't even got any of the weapons. I've been grinding out, but I have unable to be able to get one, so I can tell you of my experience of them, but when I hear, it's pretty good. Now, on to the second weapon, wep weepin. the second weapon, the M16, which is the gun I am most excited for. I love the M16, and I love the way it looks, and I don't know, I just love it. I used to play with it in Black Ops 2, that M16 I used to use a lot, I used to got some good gameplays with that, I used to got to, and yeah, it's just an awesome all-around gun. It's a three-round burst, it does more damage than the ARC, so it's a higher damage than the ARC 180. So that's good, but it also is long takes longer between bursts than the ARK or ARX. I'm just kidding, it's ARX. So the burst is gonna be a little bit, not a ton, but it will be a little bit longer of time between bursts. Which kinda stinks, but that's okay. It's still gonna be a great gun. I'm excited to use it. The iron sights look very well on it as well, so you probably aren't not gonna have to use sights on it, but you know, I don't know, that's just me. I like iron sights a lot more than red dots. I usually use iron sights on most of the weapons I use. Not really a red dot fan in uh, Advanced Warfare either. As you can see in this video, I'm not using a uh, red dot or anything like that as well. But, you know, the sights seem pretty good. The AK-47 looks pretty solid as a uh, iron sights as well, as I'm looking at the pictures. But, third and finally for the new guns coming out, or the cauterizer, or the Cell 3, Cell 3 um, cauterizer, that's the entire name for it, which is a fully automatic shotgun. Um, there's a small delay between the first and second shot, though, but if you hold down the button after the second shot, you can hold down the trigger, and it will become the, uh, if you hold the trigger down, the shot will become, in, the fire rate will, like, increase. So the first and second shot, the fire rate's pretty slow between those. It's kind of like a delayed, but if you hold it down after the second shot, the fire rate will increase, which is pretty cool. It's like if you miss your first shots, then you can probably spray and pray the second ones and hopefully get them. But uh, there's also a delay between the shots as well. It's not just a poof, 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 poof. It's like a delayed because when you shoot it, if you guys have played the zombies, uh, the barrel actually turns. So that's where your delay is coming in between shots for your barrel turning. But uh, there's also another thing with the COD riser: the spray or the shot spread also can be increased and put tighter. When you zoom in, you get a very good uh, range increase because your shot actually goes very close together when you zoom in with a COD riser, which is really cool. I am gonna, you're probably gonna want to zoom in a lot of the time with a cod riser because you will be getting a way increased uh, damage. It actually has more damage, or no, no, just kidding. It has a little bit less damage, but not very much than the blunderbust. So you're actually, this is actually quite a high power gun. Uh, it's going to be pretty awesome on that. I'm hoping to get that one. I'm hoping to get the M16 the most, and then the AK-47, then the cod riser, because I'm a fan of the assault rifles is what I use. Not really a shotgun kind of guy, but that's that. But... 
Finally, they added also this in, which most people haven't been paying attention to as much as the new guns, because the new guns are exciting, but they also added a bunch of new royalty variants, and the royalty variants for the, also, which came out September 1st, are the XMG, the AE-84, the Atlas-45, the EM-1, the EP-M-3, the MK-14, MP-11, MP-443, S-12 shotgun, RW-1, handgun, that one bullet one, and the SN-6. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm the Lost Ranger. Hope this helped you out, and I'll hope to, got, hope, to, hope, to, hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. Sorry for my rambling. I'm excited.